A stretch of well-traveled roadway is about to get a full reconstruction. South 27th between Barrow and Sales will be under construction beginning January 11th. Drivers will first see the intersections of Barrow and South 27th and Buffalo Gap and South 27th reworked with concrete. Asphalt paving of South 27th between those locations will then follow, which should be happening by the end of March, weather permitting. Also, keep in mind that Buffalo Gap Road south of Winter Freeway is also about to be under some major reconstruction there. Now, that is a TxDOT roadway and a TxDOT project, but it will, of course, have a significant effect on traffic flow. So you can call TxDOT about that at 325-690-9821 with questions or concerns about that project. You may remember hearing that the big news we had last month, the city of Abilene is partnering with All Kind Animal Initiative in the building of a new animal shelter. Now, while you can read more about that on our website, abilenetx.gov, all Kind Animal Initiative is hosting a free vaccination and microchipping event for cats and dogs on Saturday, January 22nd from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. That clinic is in partnership with Frontier Vet Express located at 2641 Post Oak Road. Everything is on a first come first served basis. No registration is needed prior to that event. Mark your calendars and get your tickets for Parks and Recreation's very popular Daddy Daughter Dance. It is set for Friday, February 11th from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Abilene Convention Center. The Boots and Bows Dance is open to dads or father figures and daughters aged 3 to 13. Tickets are $12 each. You can find out more at myabilineparksandrec.com and also available now from Parks and Rec is the 2022 Winter Adventure Guide. So you can check it out to see all the great events Parks and Rec is hosting here over these next few winter months. Now is the time to be sure you are prepared to receive news and information directly from the city during a severe winter weather event by doing two things, signing up for Code Red and subscribing to news and citywide alerts from the city's website. So simply text ABITAYTX to 99411. That signs you up for Code Red. And then go to avalinetx.gov slash notify me to subscribe to uh, news releases and alerts as well. Just a reminder, the Abilene Taylor County Public Health District uh, Department is now back home. The health district staff and services are now located back at their, their home at 850 North 6th Street. They were able to move back into that facility back in mid-December. You might recall that the health district was forced to temporarily relocate at City Hall after last year's uh, freeze that caused some major damage and flooding to the building and repairs were uh, now complete, so that looks good there. City Council and all other board meetings usually held in Council Chamber at City Hall are now temporarily relocated while some renovation work is done in Chamber, so you'll want to be sure double check Council and board agendas to see their locations. But the majority of meetings, including City Council, will be held at the South Branch Library at the Mall of Abilene during this time. And finally, keep in mind that most of the offices will be closed Monday, January 17th in observance of the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. This is my ABI on City Hall, the place to get the latest news and updates straight from the city of Abilene. For the latest news and information from the city, follow us on social media or go to abilenetx.gov.